So don't get stuck in that place. Because that's a trap. It's an ego trap. It's an idea. God is in everything. You're a nurse working in a hospital. You're, you're a teacher working in a kidney garden. You're a mom taking care of your kids. You are a mechanic. You're an engineer. Everything is God. Engineering is God. Being a mechanic, an engine, you're fixing Mercedes-Benz engine. That is God too. You're serving God. You're serving humanity. Whatever function you are having in this life, you're a worker doing something that's needed to be done. That is spiritual. The guru or the healer is not more, that job is more, it's not more spiritual than the, the mechanic, than the janitor. The janitors that come and clean the toilets in a university or in a college, they're needed. Their job is spiritual too. Someone has to do that function. Someone has to take care of that. Otherwise, who's going to do it? Oh, I'm too good. I'm too holy. I'm too educated. I can't get my hands dirty. Oh, really? You're too holy for that. Are you with me? Yes? Comprende? Good. Excuse me. Excuse me. Air conditioning. I don't like it. It's, I don't do well. Just one moment. I'm going to open this window because. I don't do well with air conditioning. So. so anybody has any questions? You have any comments, questions you want to share with me? No, you can unmute yourself or you can write on the chat box. Another thing is that people ask me, how do you find the right teacher? That's another challenge because there's so much out there these days. I, I'm just coming up with what comes up in my mind, you know, and you may come up with something that I'm not, I haven't thought about it yet. So feel free to share with me uh, some of your challenges as a spiritual seeker. So how do you find the right teacher? How do you find the right teaching? That's a big one. For me, I, I went into the spiritual market for a number of years, excuse me. I went into the spiritual market for a number of years trying uh, some sort of Buddhism. I looked into the Islamic Sufism. I um, looked into uh, Hinduism a bit, different aspects, and nothing was answering my questions. Nothing was giving me satisfactory answers and different religions as well. It was all like belief base. And I needed something more solid than that. I needed something to answer my, my questions. Uh, Amir, are you there? Yes, I'm here. How are we doing with lighting? Because the lighting changed here in yeah, it's changed, I but it's, where I'm at, but it's changed, but it's okay. No problem. It's okay because I can 
Right. All right. Because that's a constant challenge. Yeah. You're good. So when, no yeah. Okay. Good. So. <laughs> So here's one challenge we have here in Tulum. Tulum is, uh, is busy. So one thing you're going to discover in Mexico, it's, uh, it's always busy, which in a way it's fun because it just, it's a life because you're in interaction with life. But uh, it's not like the West or it's not like living in a country in the West that it's all quiet. Just uh, get rid of this air conditioning. It's making my nose run. So, um, okay, there's something. Turn off that air con. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Anna Marie, thanks. Or put it on 25 degree, you are getting sick. You're too cool. Well, thanks. And Marie, um, how do I find the right teacher, right teachings? Well, you're just going to have to go to different teachers and different teachings to see who you are resonating with. Who speaks your heart language? And that doesn't mean that you find one teacher and that's going to be your teacher for the rest of your life. You may be grooving with one teacher for 10 years, and then you outgrow that teaching. And you get to a point that you're, it's not working for you anymore. Or maybe it's too dogmatic. Personally, I don't like teachings that are dogmatic. I don't like rules. I don't like do's and don't do's. And in order to be spiritual, you have to be vegetarian or give up sex or uh, live uh, in solitude in an ashram or blah, blah, blah. So those kind of teachings don't work for me. And some people love it. Some people really need it structured. And you need someone to tell them what to do, what not to do. And, it, and giving them a lot of practices. For me, that wasn't the case. For me, when I came across my spiritual teacher, uh, Papaji, um, he basically the first day said, there is nowhere to go and nothing to do. There's nowhere to go and nothing to do. What? What do you mean there's nowhere to go and nothing to do? He said, you're already that which is you looking for. You're already that. And for me, it was like, wow. You mean I don't have to get up at five in the morning and go and sit somewhere and do some kind of uh, dynamic meditation or whatever? No, you don't need to. Oh, I don't have to give up alcohol or sex or whatever. No, you don't have to. And I was like, wow, this dude is for me. This is my teacher. Because I was a lazy spiritual seeker. Somehow, I ended up doing a lot of the things like sitting in silence or going into like 30 days of fasting and and naturally I did it on my own, but I didn't do it because my teacher asked me to do it. I did it because I was gravitated at one point in my life to sit in silence and not talk 